Welcome to part 3 of Uhu's fast track chain learning tutorial. A bit more cha advanced chain techniques. 3, 2, 1, Chaga! Next step is swinging the chain, getting the chain going when it went still. If we do this, it takes a long time to get it going again. Therefore, we want to use a special drop technique. Therefore, we have to go a bit, we have to keep distance to each other that no one gets hurt. Also mal rübergehen zu deinem Stöckchen, Raphael. Like this. And now we're doing the lunge and the shoot and we're grabbing the chain, but now we are taking this leg, which is backwards, taking it forward while drawing in the chain, like this, and getting motion, okay? We have shot out the chain, grabbing it at the hand as usual, drawing up, at the same time doing a pirouette like this, and keeping it up. Okay, nice, sehr gut, Raphael. Important, stretch out your arm while you are doing this. So, shooting out, grabbing the chain, stretching out your arm, arm outstretching, and you will gain momentum quite quickly. And now we can do this real quick, or much more quicker. In any case, drawing up the chain, and lunge, lunge, Okay, start slowly, but then try to get power in your lunge. If you do it like this, the chain will go somewhere. Try to add power so that the chain really flies straight. So, <laughs> like this. <laughs> so this is a nice exercise. Shoot out the chain, let it lie. Now run around, grab your hand, pull it up, jump one more time and attack. Nice one. Look where it came from. You want to look there at the end. Great. Next game is sitting and training to get up, get the chain going. Kneel as you do when you are hit. The side with the, the uh, holding hand has a knee up and the other is down. Okay, so hold your chain here close to the ball so that you can take it. On one, on zero, I mean three, two, one, zero, we try to stand up and hit, hit each other. The first to hit win. Short chain, hand on the back. And three, two, one, now. <laughs> and again. No mind. Short chain. Three, two, one, now. <laughs> Next point is uh, reeling in the chain. When you are throwing the chain and you want to reel it in so that it becomes shorter, usually we'll do like this. Leave it here, like this. This is okay, but as soon as you get shorter even, you get a huge loop. And you don't want to have a huge loop, because the chain ball can slip through it, or you can even treat into it. That wouldn't be nice. So when you want to shorten the chain, it might be better to reel it in instead of releasing it and grabbing it again. Which means shooting it out, grabbing it once, drawing in but not releasing, instead grabbing it again that you have reeled it up, sort of, and continue. Try that a couple of times. Sounds easy, but if you have trained this too often, then it might be hard for your body to remember. Just train again. And of course, when you have mastered this, just do it again once. When you have mastered this, sort of, 
then you can try it in motion as we have learned us with a pirouette which means shooting out pirouette and now I've reared it leave your hand at your hips height not here so don't do this no you want to leave your hand at your hips or many people even want it more back so that is more protected uh, from uh, from hits so shoot it out relax okay nice one shoot real real go shoot real 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 okay then you can add the basic lunge shoot real 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 okay and shoot real 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 nice try this often and it might help you a lot Next part is distance control drills. You want to have maximum reach with your chain and know where the ball actually lands when you're shooting it out. So take a, go take a goal here to aim at and take your chain and then just try where the chain lands. This is much too close, so we need to get closer. Uh, we need to get far away. And now, uh, that's about okay. The chain, the distance, no, no, this way, put in, go out, okay, a bit more, go in, go out, go in again, shoot, go in, go out, shoot, if you are too close for a lunge, also train short shooting. Long shoots. And long shoots. And short shoots. The goal is to develop a feeling for the length of your chain so that you about just hit your goal with the chain, or if you're swinging it, that's a bow that the ball is just a bit behind your target. If you are close, you of course do not want to do a lunge because you get closer to your opponent, no. Then it might be more sensible to draw back, in fact, so that they don't hit you. Okay, so lunging or not lunging depends much on, on distance and you have to learn when to lunge and to learn when to keep back or two other techniques which we'll learn later. Now, we also need to develop a feeling for distance. If you have a brother or a son in this case, or a daughter or a sister or a wife that loves jugging, then do this exercise. At the long distance, you want to shoot mostly vertically, I would say, because swinging might just hit the opponent with the ball. It's easy to parry. Vertical swings might be faster and more direct. So, Rafael, do a long lunge here. Okay, vertical and then do a long lunge. <laughs> Good. Now, the intermediate distance, there the horizontal thing, swing is better because it's not as easy to parry, or even the vertical one. So, Rafael, wieder herkommen. Horizontal swing. And it wraps around the opponent, of course, with a bit more force. That's important to swing it quickly, so that it wraps around your opponent. Okay. And now the close distance where you either want to do diagonal or vertical. When he's closing in, change to vertical. Do a, do a shoot. Yes. Good. The thing is, when he does a lunge, he hits me. So I need to act now when he's at that distance. It's very important to act there. And I do not want to do a lunge now, a big lunge, because I'm closing distance, which I don't want. He's close enough. He's too close, in fact, for me. So what I want to do now is change to horizontal or, or diagonal, and to vertical and diagonal, and shoot out, and at the same time <laughs> retreat, so that he can't reach you. Okay, and now we do this a couple of times uh, over. Long distance. Long line. Good. Intermediate distance. Horizontal. Around the parry and around the opponent. And the close distance. Und langsam wieder. 
change to vertical seat out. Don't do a big lunge, but retreat. Also the same, watch my hand. Long distance is hand back, long lunge. Ja, nochmal. Intermediate distance, even there you can consider doing your hand back. Yes. That's okay. Train taking up the chain here. Und nochmal, short distance. So, jetzt nochmal rankommen. Short distance. Näher, näher, näher. You want to do both hands here so that you can draw your chain up while retreating. Okay, so the other thing is the diagonal shot. Usually when you are chain, you tend to shoot forward against your own opponent. But sometimes the other, uh, the neighbor of your opponent doesn't look, doesn't pay attention. And then it's nice when you are swinging your chain, for example vertical, then you are changing to horizontal and doing a cross shot to him. <laughs> We chain this a couple of times, focusing on your opponent and then suddenly you're doing a cross attack. And again. Look to your opponent and then suddenly hit him from the side. Your neighbor must know so that your neighbor can protect you. Now the protecting neighbor. Yes. Exactly. Okay, nice one. Now we want to do the chain direction. For the chain direction, we are shooting the chain straight. Richtungswechsel. Erstmal die Kette gerade schießen. Like this. Now we're drawing it in and changing direction with a backwards movement. So, shooting out, drawing in, change direction. Shoot it out, drawing in, change direction. Shoot it out, move it in, change direction. Hold it short, kurz halten, and let it move through your hands. So that both hands almost connect. Check if it's still stretched here. Change direction. Yes. Just do this until you feel comfortable with it. Now a feint for the speed attack. Might not work very good against experienced anti-chain players. But still, it's a nice surprise attack. We are doing a fast horizontal, a feint, and then a slow attack, okay? Again, we are doing fast horizontal, pull up, feint, and slow. So take speed from the chain. Okay, we try it again. Slow, speed up, feint, slow. At a period, after a while, Speed up, slow, hurl. Pirouette. Okay, now we do the same, but we speed it up again. So, horizontal, speed up, faint, slow, and fast. Okay, horizontal, speed up, faint, slow, faint, fast. Okay. Now we do figure eights. That might be a bit hard for Raphael as a beginner, but um, uh, I will show them for you now. So the figure eights are basically moving your throwing hand across the body. Up, down, up, down. You are sort of painting an eight, a lying eight, into the air. And malt eine Acht in die Luft, eine liegende Acht. Okay. While you're painting this with your hand, while moving your body, you're accelerating. And after a while you can do sort of almost horizontal, uh, vertical swings, I mean, with the figure eight. And you can accelerate even a bit more. Move your whole body, don't do it like this, nicht nur mit dem Arm, no? okay? But with your whole body as a lever. Like this. Nice and easy. So, 
three, two, one, zero. Nice one. Normally, people would expect you to shoot out here with a vertical movement. So they know something's coming there, I will block. Do this, now do an over the head swing, like with the figure eights. This round, train this. One, two, three, four, round. One, two, three, four, round. One, two, three, four, round. Nice, when this works, we will add a lunge now. So, one, two, three, four, go. Again, important here, keep a short chain. With a long chain, this might not work very well. One, two, three, four, lunge. Try to hit sort of the same target all the time. One, two, three, four, so that it doesn't go this. No, you want to shoot straight here. And this is not too easy with figure eight. Also, you need to build up speed here. So that it works nicely. So the surprise aspect is that you're coming from the other side. Don't overdo it. It doesn't work too well, but train it so that you gain more options. And as I said, at a close distance, don't do the lunge. No. At a close distance, you want to keep the distance. Go back, hold your hands both in front so that you can jump directly and swirl it up. Another one is the chain one hand attack. For this it's important to have your grip here so that you grab the chain only with two fingers, otherwise you might slip with your fingers. It's almost the same as the basic throw attack, which I've shown you already, like this. In this case, we are doing it with one hand, which might be important if you are down and standing up. Kneel down, the chain, easy here, not don't step on it, very important. The chain at your side, grab the grip as shown, like this, so that you hold the chain with just two fingers, right at the ball, very short. Hand on your back as you are kneeling, and then when you are about to get up, just go back with the body and throw. Important here, when you're having this knee front, then you usually want to retreat. So like this. Okay, train this a couple of times. Short chain, kneeling, back with your arm that you have a lever and a quick attack against an opponent who is not really paying attention. Ready? And again, don't treat on the chain. Ready? As for standing up, really jump away from your opponent. So get up, going backwards motion. Again, casting the chain from the kneeling position, back with your arm that you have a lever here, and you're pushing yourself back with this uh, leg. The other leg up, so that you have tension in your body. Two fingers here, I grip the chain firmly, and the thumb around the chain. You grip it at the ball as short as possible, like this. Okay. Train this a couple of times until it works nicely. Don't retreat too early, too early otherwise you'll pull back your... Okay, now with the other foot on front, with the other foot front, like this. In this case you want to go forward, if you have the choice. But that's more unlikely. Still here you can use your body's momentum to power your chain. So back with your chain. When getting up, use the momentum of your body to throw your chain, holding short with two fingers and the thumb as quickly as possible. And now you go against your opponent. So they have to keep distance and they have to be unwary of your initial attack. Otherwise, they will get you down quite easily. As well, you can see here, it's a bit with fencing steps, I'm always pressing on, you are not going up and forward, but you are sort of, with your whole body, you are doing a lunge step forward. Go up a bit while kneeling, that's allowed, and now for the lunge go forward, with your whole body, and attack. 
probably the next one might be Master Chain Moves that I got from Jagger players all over the world who sent me short clips of the best moves or what I consider to be the best moves in game to surprise people, so special moves. And for example, I have taught you, I've taught you uh, this one. And another chain player had the brilliant technique of swinging it the other way and then doing it like this. Thank you very much. This was the Yuhu Uvelius, your fencing master and jugger instructor. And these are my jugger sons. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're a beginner, that you could learn a bit of chain play. If you're more experienced, that you could hone up some of your skills. You're most welcome to drop me your own master chain techniques or other considerations and stuff about jugger chain play. Welcome and thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Woo! <laughs>